Greetings from Rachna Sagar. Today, I will explain you some of the activities that are mentioned in e-science class 4 for your reference. We hope you will enjoy all the activities and these activities will help the teachers and the students in lifelong learning, in fun learning, in experimental and experiential learning. Let's start with the activities. Let's start with e-science class 4. This is our physical plus digital book. As you can see, this is our physical book. And inside the book, there are many QR codes as you can see. And in each QR code, you will receive the summary of the topic. And you will also receive extra exercises apart from the book. As you can see, there are many QR codes on each page and you will receive the whole 3D videos, audios for the chapter. Along with the book, you will also receive this well-labeled packet and you will also receive the names of the activities that are provided in this kit. For each chapter, you will get this pouch and all the activities. Now, one by one, I will explain you all the activities. Also, with this kit, we also have this instruction manual for the teachers so that the teacher can refer it. Also, there are many things provided. For example, objectives, materials provided, instructions, variations of the activities as the teacher can do each activity in multiple ways. Also, there are competencies acquired and SDGs goals. Also, with each chapter, we have socio-emotional and logical skill cards for some extra knowledge of the students as NEP and NCF suggests that we should make the students learn outside the classroom as well. So let's start with the first activity. So let us start with the first activity that is this wall hanging. Now the teacher can display this wall hanging in the classroom and the students can read and observe it daily and then they will learn some of the healthy habits which they need to follow. Now, this activity will develop critical thinking skills, collaboration skills, communication skills, creativity, responsibility. Also, some of the sustainable development goals this activity covers are good health and well-being, responsible consumption and production, and zero hunger. Let's start with the second activity for the same chapter. This is this Velcro chart. Now, the students have to label the digestive system. Now, through this activity, the students will understand the labeling of the digestive system and they will get an idea of the digestive system. Now, the students can just paste the Velcros. As you can see, there are Velcros. Now, the students can just paste it. Like so. Right. Now this activity will develop fine motor skills in the students. As the students will use their hands or fingers to paste the Velcros. As one activity should not develop only one skill. But the students should be developed in a whole. Basically whole development of the student should happen. Now, this activity will develop critical thinking skills in the students, problem solving skills, collaboration, attention to detail, communication skills and creativity. Another activity for the same chapter is this wheel chart. Now, the teacher can display this wheel chart in the classroom and then the students can observe and know about different types of food and what each type of food gives us, for example, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, proteins, fats. Now, this activity would develop group sorting skills in the students, critical thinking skills. Some of the SDGs that this activity covers are 
good health and well-being responsible consumption and production also zero hunger another activity for this chapter is this refrigerator chart when you will open it it will give you an information about preservation of food now the students will be very fascinated and they will be very curious to know what what all is written in this chart this activity will develop critical thinking skills collaboration skills creativity and communication the next activity for the same chapter is this food pyramid along with these velcros as you can see now the teacher can ask the students to bifurcate for example many velcros are provided so the students can complete this food pyramid using the velcro this activity will help the students in segregating the types of food and what all they provide us another activity for this same chapter is this pan chart now the teacher can display it in the class or can ask the student to read it for the whole class on the front side it's importance of cooking food and at the back side we have precautions before or while cooking this activity develops critical thinking skills collaboration communication creativity responsibility and citizenship the next activity for the same chapter are these cards the teacher can use these cards in multiple ways the teacher can teach different types of vitamins and through what we get those vitamins or minerals so so many activities are provided to the students and teachers which make the learning and teaching process faster and interesting and the students will indulge into lifelong learning these were some of the activities that are mentioned in e science made fun with mentors mojo box to know about other activities and to book a demo with us you can contact us the contacting details are mentioned on the screens below so do book a demo with us and in